somehow my mom's car after four years has made it back to me. My name is Steve Rihacek. Uh, our family has uh, always been about General Motors, uh, GM vehicles. Uh, grandfather uh, worked for GM. My father works for GM. Kind of the black sheep out. Uh, I don't work for GM, but still uh, have an insatiable love for, for the product. Little story, my mother always had Impala's GM vehicles and uh, recently passed away. And having that happen, uh, her vehicle uh, was sold uh, by my father to someone. Uh, we didn't, I didn't know who, uh, he just, he had to sell it. I work at a dealership and uh, just parked like I normally do in my space uh, behind the dealership, go to work like I usually do. And when I got off work that day, uh, it may sound odd, but I just, uh, I decided to drive around the back of our building and then pull, uh, pull around up front. Like I said, I can't explain why. I just, maybe I wanted to look at cars or something, not sure, see what's there. And when I came around the front of the building, I looked to my left and I saw a tailpipe. <laughs> of all things, and I saw a wheel. And I saw that it was attached to a white Impala, and I was like, well, I, I recognize that. That looks uh, oddly familiar. In our family, we do things to our cars in such a way that it makes them indistinguishable. You know that's one of our cars. And as I got to uh, probably pretty parallel with the vehicle, I noticed on the corner glass, there was a sticker. Now I couldn't make out this sticker. Um, I just knew that there was a sticker on the driver's rear quarter glass. And I knew that my dad put a local 701 sticker on the back of the quarter glass of my mom's old car. It was probably there where I knew that that was my mom's car for sure. And as I made my way around to the front, uh, another sticker he likes to put on his vehicles is uh, an American flag on the top uh, glass of the windshield. And when I saw that, I, I just knew right away that uh, somehow my mom's car, after four years, has made it back to me. Instantly, I, I pulled uh, pulled in and ran into the into the showroom, and I told my uh, sales manager, I said, "That's my mom's car." I don't care, I want to buy it back. Funny thing was, is the, the previous owner was uh, sitting in there, he was a younger kid, maybe mid-twenties, and he's like, yeah, he's like, uh, I actually bought this off of a uh, GM mechanic in Fox Lake, and I was like, yeah, that's <laughs> it's actually my dad. I'm like, I could prove to you that this was, was my mom's car. She, she had a thing with spiders, and <laughs> her thing was is that if she put a big fake plastic spider in the car that it would keep the real spiders away from the car and everyone's like yeah okay there's there's no way and i said well i put it in the car it will be underneath the dash um i can go pull it out for you i know it's still there and we all went out to the car and went underneath the dash and there it was so basically everyone was speechless no one knew what to think at all. I didn't even know what to think. I didn't even know what to think all the way up until, you know, I had gotten the car. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, that was basically the story of, you know, my mom's car somehow finding its way back to me. What was even more bizarre is it literally happened the week uh, uh, we laid her to rest uh, four years ago. So, that was uh, <clears throat> odd. And then uh, and my parents' anniversary is this uh, weekend. So just a little, uh, yeah. So don't sell, <laughs> don't sell your parents' cars.